Hey friends, Peter Fasciano here. In today's video, I wanna cover the software that Canon released back on April 28th of 2020. It's their EOS Webcam Utility Beta 0.9.0 for Windows. This allows you to use some of your Canon cameras as a webcam. I'm gonna load it up onto the computer. I'm gonna fire up Zoom and Google Meet, show you how it works, and then give you some tips on how to improve your web um, meetings that you've been having lately. Okay, I'm on my computer right now. I have a screen capture recording. I'm on the Canon USA site, the EOS Webcam Utility Beta. Scroll down, it gives you instructions on how to download it. There's a list of cameras that are supported by this software. I'm gonna click on the Mark II. Okay, it's future Peter here. Um, I just wanted to jump in here and let you guys know that this software is for use in US and will not be supported outside of the area. So I need you guys to do me a favor. The majority of my subscribers are outside of the United States. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are able to access Canon USA somehow, some way, and let me know if you were able to download this. So let's go ahead and jump back into the video. Webcam Utility, April 28th, 2020. Click on Select. Click on Download. Now, every computer that I know is a little bit different on how you download things. So just download the software on your computer, how you end up doing it. I'm going to click OK. It downloads up here on the arrow. As soon as it's ready, I double click on it. Shows it in my folder here. Double click on it. Just follow the prompts. I agree. Click on Next. Click on Next. My computer gives me permission, so I have to say yes, and it will go ahead and download, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Once it's downloaded, they recommend that you restart your computer, so I'll go ahead and restart it. Once it's all restarted, I'll go ahead and fire this up and show you guys what it looks like in Zoom and Google Meet. All right, so now that the computer is rebooted, the next thing you need to do is set up your camera. So if you have a laptop or a desktop with a monitor, I would set the camera directly above the monitor itself, or directly above your laptop screen. So when you're doing your meetings, you're looking directly at the camera and it makes it look like you're looking at the people. Once you have it all situated and you have your shot composed, you wanna go ahead and go ahead and hook up your camera with the USB cable that came with it. You don't have to use your HDMI out. This is the beauty of this. If you don't have a clean HDMI out and you don't wanna see all your screen information on a meeting itself, this takes care of it. So you don't have to worry about it. You're going to connect your USB port into the side of your camera and the other end into your USB port on your laptop or computer. So once you have everything set up, go ahead and open up Skype. Skype didn't work the first time, but now it does. So that's a plus. Start your call. You're going to notice that the utility beta is there. Everything looks good. Start your meeting and then shut your camera off if you're going to go onto a different site. I'm going to open up my Google Meet. Same thing, the camera blinks a little bit, the Google Meet software pops up and you're all good to go here. Join your meeting. And then you're gonna to wanna to go into your settings and you wanna change your, I guess your received video and your, your exported video. So go into your settings, open up your video, and then you want to get your settings to 720p on both forms. And that way, when you see people, you have a higher quality. And when you're, re when you're sending out your signal, it's of a higher quality. Everything looks good. So let's go ahead and fire up a Zoom meeting. Once the software pops up, again, the camera's gonna blink on and off. You're gonna go ahead and create a new meeting. And you want your quality to be pretty good. So once the camera recognizes that it's the webcam, go ahead and go into your settings and go to HD. So you wanna make sure that you're broadcasting and everything looks pretty good. And from that point on, just go into your individual settings on the uh, programs that you use and you can mess around with the audio and you can mess around with the video as well. Uh, I, this is not a tutorial on those three platforms, but you can go ahead and, and get into that and mess around with it. So that's pretty much it. The one thing that I do need to mention is the software doesn't support on-camera audio. So if you're using a microphone on your camera, it's not gonna recognize it in these programs. Hopefully in an update, they'll fix that, but you're gonna, you're gonna have to use an external audio port from your computer 
or your laptop if you have one and use a microphone of another source or you're going to be stuck with your laptop's audio which is not very good so hopefully again they get that fixed pretty quick all right so the last thing that i want to talk about is how to improve your meetings themselves so let me go ahead and jump onto my laptop i'll arrange everything so you can kind of see my setup and then i'm going to give you some tips on how to look better on camera let's jump on the laptop okay so right now this is my current setup i have my laptop in front of me i have my camera directly behind my screen just above my web camera on my screen itself now there's three things that you can do to improve your meetings number one elevate your camera so you are eye level with it because nobody wants to be looking up your nostrils looking at your ceiling or looking at the upper walls because from my knowledge i don't think i've ever heard anybody on a meeting say wow you've really decorated your ceilings and your walls really well so make sure that the camera is elevated or you've lowered yourself at eye level and then when you are talking to the people on your meetings make sure that you're looking at the camera and not on the screen because as you can see here if i'm looking down at the screen at the person that i'm talking to and if they're looking at me it looks like my eyes are not making contact with them so make sure that you're always looking at the lens whether you're talking to somebody or whether you're listening to somebody and that way it always makes it look like you're making eye contact Couple that with the new Canon software and your meetings should look and sound pretty good if you have an external audio to record with. Other than that, I think uh, that pretty much covers the software, the download, and some of the tips that will help you look better and sound better within your meetings. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and share it with somebody. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And I think with all that being said, I'll leave it there. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.